Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-month of July general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you all's energy, the song that I got was Kissing You by Keith Washington. Mr. Keith Washington happens to be a fellow Scorpion. So this could be how you feel specifically. It could also be how someone feels about you, but this may be, you know, regarding how you feel about a certain situation. Um, I'm definitely getting longing, like longing to be with somebody. And then I also got a very, very specific message. Of course, this won't apply to everyone, but I did get... I was seeing an image of somebody just being enamored and wrapped up in the moment. Like literally spending a night with somebody that you're dating for the first time or staying over at their house or them staying over at your house. I also get a return of intimacy to a current relationship, like a relationship that you've been in for a while. Like if it seems like you guys have been distant as far as physical touch and things like that, I feel like there's a return to intimacy. And then I also heard very specifically that somebody is telling someone there's their love language. And kissing may be this person's love language. Every Scorpio I know is like that. Like, they're, they're big on kissing, you know, things like that. So, let's see what we get for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get the clarifiers for those cards, okay? Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you got the judgment card. Reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. And like I said, somebody's making a judgment call to either... Stay the night with someone for the first time. I'm also getting like, someone realizes like, okay, I have to tell this person what I want, what I require, what I desire physically and emotionally. I'm getting that as well. Someone's first, middle, or last initials could be C, G, M, W, J, or T. Somebody's nickname is TJ. And also Keith Washington. Somebody's name could be Keith. First, middle, last name of Washington. Last name. I also heard Washington Square. Somebody could stay in an area that is called Washington Square as well. Again, very specific, but I have to put it out there because that's what I'm hearing. So let's go ahead and go into our shuffling. And then we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana again, which is the death card. And the card comes before and the card comes after. Currently, now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. Now, I feel like this isn't... What I'm about to explain right now, that's not what this card expresses but i feel like somebody is like moving away from stagnancy because this boat is not moving very quickly she only has one pedal and she can only it, it takes a lot of work for her pedal to get her destination sort of is just sword down as no all these swords are down so it's like leaving behind like the stagnancy the stuckness things that seem like it was sinking the ship sinking the boat if you will because if you think about it with the swords poked down in the boat, it could put holes in the boat, which is, of course, going to make the boat sink. So I feel like for a while, this could have been a situation or a relationship where it just felt like the passion in the relationship was just being drained out. But I'm also going to tell you because she has on this cloak. She has on a hood. And, you know, that's, that's, that's like a disguise, like a, some type of coverage. Somebody was not expressing what it is they desire. Possibly out of fear that they would be looked at weird or rejected or... You said it before because swords against communication and mental. So you may have said before what you need or what you require. And it still wasn't being adhered to. It still wasn't being given attention. And for some of y'all, you may have thought about just ghosting this person or leaving the situation. Or you've already checked out mentally and emotionally. You got war to hear emotions and it's swords mental. Okay. So again, let's go through the deck until we get your major arcana. The death card for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Definitely getting strong intimacy. For a lot of y'all, it's like a return to intimacy after a very long time. It may even feel weird. Like like a new start, but in a weird way for somebody. Hmm, yeah, I said a return. Right behind you, you have the judgment card again. So right in front of you, you have, wow, you have three major arcanas back to back. Yeah, somebody, emo like there's, there's some emotional... Reconnection coming in. This could be you. Male or female, this could be you. First card you have is the Empress, Taurus, and Libra. And then you have the Judgment card. I'm getting that this could be any sign. But for some reason, this also gives me uh, Scorpio as well. 
nonetheless, it's like somebody's realized, okay, it's time for me to step up to the plate. You see the glow around this chair? Like this person is like, I need to step up to the plate. Because I feel like this is my person. Some of y'all could definitely be married. Okay, because the Empress has an emperor. That's her divine counterpart. So I feel like you could be married to this person for a lot of you all. Like I said, this could be a, a relationship that was already in place. And then also for some of you all, you may be coming into contact with a twin flame. Now, I know a lot of people don't understand or resonate that journey or that title just seems like a bunch of cliche, new spiritual BS. But I, I'm, this is, I'm going to tell you right now, we are in a very powerful energetic portal where a lot of soul alignment is coming in. A lot of soulmates are being connected. We are in a universal eight year. If you turn eight sideways, that's infinity. So infinity is simple. Like people that you have soul contracts with, they're coming back into your life so you guys can do another cycle. I'm getting that also. Somebody dreams about being with someone intimately. I'm definitely getting like well, a brand new relationship, like something so new where you guys have not been intimate yet, but there's a lot of dreaming and thinking about it. I'm going to tell you if there's some type of reconciliation here with this rabbit is just getting my attention. Somebody may end up pregnant. Someone also could have been born in the year of the rabbit. The year of the rabbit was last year too, right? Some of y'all could have met this person last year. Look at that ace of cups. Like love is overflowing. Okay. A lot of passion is what I'm getting. Again, if you're single, you could be looking like, okay, this is not for me. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're single, you may be calling somebody in. And I'm, I'm not getting by your birthday. I'm getting a little bit before your birthday. A little bit before your birthday. You may meet somebody new. And this, this is going to be someone that you, you know you want to be with long term. I'm, a, I'm also being God. You may meet this person on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or a Thursday. So let's part the deck. Four pinnacles holding on for dear life. And when, you, <laughs> when this person crosses your path, you're going to hold on to them. He has on a crown. He's a king. It's like, I know that this is my person. Kings and queens, they don't do short-lived romances. They want someone that they can build a legacy with. Um, also, I'm going to go back to what I was saying earlier on. Like, you see how he's holding on for dear life, like holding it to his chest. I feel like somebody is not expressing how they feel and what they want. And now they're just allowing it to flow out. They're allowing their emotions to come out. It's possible because we're in cancer season, so it's like... Your, your emotions are being activated in a way that you typically wouldn't speak or theirs is. Feeling vulnerable enough to just come out and say how they feel. Let's get a clarify for the Empress. You have three of Pentacles working, building, establishing something together. What's interesting is you got three here in reverse and then she's a three. Someone can have a birthday that has a three in it. The 3rd, 13th, 23rd, 30th, 31st, or March could be your birthday. And I know none of these signs are in March. Well, I always get Aries with this also. Libra, Taurus, Aries. And people ask, how do you get Aries? I get Aries because her divine counterpart is the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries. And, you know, they, they fuse and become one. So I, I typically get Aries with this also. And Aries starts in March. So that could resonate as well. It could be a March Aries. But regardless of the case, the fact that you have these threes, one is upright, one is in reverse. It feels like you guys are not seeing eye to eye about something. <laughs> yeah. There's no eyes in that socket. And it's right in the middle. You and this person are seeing eye to eye about something. I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who's kind of shy when it comes to intimacy, or you could be shy. Because uh, they're very modestly dressed. You see how she's wrapped up here from head to toe. Somebody could be very modest, very bashful, but they want to be intimate, but they're just kind of very bashful. It's something about you need to pull them out of their comfort zone, but in a safe way. I feel like they trust you energetically. Let's get a clarify for the Empress. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Give me a clarifier for the Empress. Okay. We're going to take this one that flipped up. Mm-hmm. Now, the Cups, I feel like they're going to trust you because they feel safe with you because he's a protector. He goes to protect and fight for the kingdom. United Cups is your prince or princess shining armor. Somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet. Yeah. In a very emotional and passionate offer. That's what I'm getting. You had two cards that flipped down, that you know they flipped down, face down. So I'm not going to take them. I only took that one because it flew up there and it was right over this card. So I knew that it was meant for us to take it. Bottom of the deck, you got the Three of Swords. They may have, you keep getting all these threes. You have Three of Pentacles, the Empress is a three, and then you have three right here. Three, three, three. This person may have become a bit reclusive or pulled back or not share the things that they require intimately or they, they have blockages. They may have some sacral chakra blockages. You may have some sacral chakra blockages. 
because of a past situation that broke your heart. Like you were very vulnerable, very out and open with your sexuality or comfortable with this person. Then they did, yeah, something with the sacral chakra being blocked. I'm just looking at that planet behind it. It's orange. Your sacral chakra is orange. Yeah. Somebody has a sacral chakra uh, blockage. And I'll be, okay, I'm not going to say that because I was going to say, let's, I'm just going to put it this way. Somebody had a bad experience sexually with a previous partner and it's like they retreated and they, they are kind of shut down about just being very vulnerable and open. Because I keep hearing over and over again, vulnerability. They have a problem being vulnerable sexually. And if you're intimate, that's, that's one of the times where you're going to be the most vulnerable. You know what I mean? So they're very restricted. Hmm. Let's get a clarify for the judgment card. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. Okay. Page of Wands. Yeah, Page of Wands. This person is very passionate. If you look at he's looking at the tip of the wand. That could be seen as very phallic, very sexual energy. Um, somebody's desire is growing. You see how it's budding leaves. Somebody's desire is growing. The attraction is growing. You keep getting like threes. Because even in the background, there's one, two, three mountains or hills. Mountains or hills talk about hurdles and challenges that you have to get over. I want to, you know, they could have been in a relationship with someone for three years and then it just ended. So they're not really ready to be intimate with someone for somebody out there. And then for others, it's like, okay, let's go for it. Because pages are like starting things. They're, they're messengers, but it's also like getting something started. Because again, you see how the leaves are budding. It's like somebody is now ready to be intimate. Somebody is now ready to spend time with you. Like, spend a night or you're ready to spend a night with someone. Because you you know how, like, when you're first dating, you guys just date for a while, go out on dates, see each other here and there, but, you know, visit each other's home, but never spend a night, sleep over, things like that, or invite the person to stay at your house. I feel like somebody's like, okay, now it's time. Now it's time to see where this can go, where this, how this can blossom or what this can blossom into. I'm getting that also. Again, if you are single, I do feel like somebody is coming in because this is the start of something new. I feel like somebody will be coming in and they could be a fire sign, Leo, Sage, Aries. Or they, or you can meet this person in Sage season. I'm hearing Sage specifically, which is November, December time frame. Okay? So, Scorpio, someone rising Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.